Hi, this is Paul Solt from Super Easy Apps. Welcome to a quick Xcode tutorial. I really just wanna focus on the Xcode tool so that you know how to get started. We're gonna be working a lot with this, so I'm gonna be teaching you a lot as we go. But just to get acquainted with the tool, let's open it up. So I've got a project open. This is what we were last working on. And what I wanna show are the panels. In the top right corner, we have three panels that can be displayed and hidden by clicking on them. So we see these icons, we can hide and show the left panel, we can hide and show the bottom panel, we can hide and show the right panel. Let's talk about the left panel. This is the most important. You're gonna click on the project navigator, which is this icon in the top. Your settings for your application are gonna be in this top row. If you click on this, that will show you all of your settings in the center editor. If you click on any of these other options, that will show you some additional screen. So there's a lot to look at. Just browse through that right now. You can pause this video if you wanna follow along. We can now look at the right panel. So this is gonna have sort of details. It's mostly useful when we've got a storyboard file open. So if you click on the main.storyboard, we will see our user interface. If we click on a UI element, we can see different changes and we can see fonts and things like that, colors that we can control. On the bottom, again, we have our object library, and this is where we can drag and drop different controls onto the screen. So you can just grab something, throw it onto the screen, line it up with something else if you want to. So you can put a little indicator here and work with your iPhone app. So that is our attributes inspector. Now there's, again, tabs along the top here. The most important one is this center one, the fourth icon. The other ones are useful and we'll see them as we're working on different videos, but this center one is generally where you're gonna be working or potentially the measurements or this last one. For now, don't worry too much about them. Just uh, play around with the user interface. You can do that right now. Just pause the video, drag some new controls out, try customizing them, change the fonts. Just play around with some of those settings, okay? So that is working with the storyboards. Now, when we're working with code, the, the starting point is gonna be our viewcontroller.swift file. And the very first chunk of code is this function right here. It's called view did load. So in here, what I want you to do is just write print, hi, and then your name, explanation mark. So I'm gonna put my name here, hi, Paul. Now what's gonna happen is when we start the application, this is gonna be the first message that we see. So let's go ahead, hit the play button. Our play button and our stop button in the very top corner are going to allow us to start and stop the app really quickly. So we see our message appears down here and we can sort of see that. So this is the, the last panel that I wanna talk about. And this is our sort of development debugger panel. We can see active variables when we're debugging a problem. So if we have a bug or something's crashing, that can help us track it down. And then this is gonna be our output window. When your app crashes on start, look in here and go to the very top. So make sure you scroll up because sometimes there's a lot of text here and you can see what the error message is. This is also where you can write error messages out to yourself where you can log certain things if you're confused what's happening. All right, so that's our panels. They have these little buttons down here to hide and show them. I generally keep this one open. I don't look at this side panel a whole lot unless I'm debugging. So this is typically how I work. And depending on my screen size, I'm gonna hide or show panels and use keyboard shortcuts to do that as well. All right, so our center panel is a single view right now, but we can actually switch over to a, a double up view. And that's with the assistant editor. So the assistant editor can show us related code files, or we can just click on different code files and show those side by side. So if you hold the Alt or Option key and we click on another code file or another file, we can force that to open in the second window on the right side. We can also go to our storyboard real quick and I'll show you how to do this when we're laying out the, the UI, but we can select a, a UI element in our application and then we can see it's related thing. Now everything's sort of squashed here so I can hide some of these panels and we can see our UI a little bit better. Maybe we need to zoom out depending on our screen size, might be a little too far and we can see the UI controls and interact with them and related code files. Now, since I manually put one of those files over here, it's switched away from automatic. So all I want you to do is switch back to automatic and that's gonna show you the related code file. So this UI is related to our view controller. We see view controller scene and view controller matches with that. 
All right, so that's a quick overview of Xcode. We're gonna jump into designing the, the user interface in the next lesson. But before we do that, I wanna set up your development so that you can not just work with the iPhone simulator, but you can work with some real devices. So let's take a look at getting your Apple ID set up in the next video. Hey, this is Paul. Real quick before you go, I've got all the source code over here on the right. If you wanna download the source code, go to the link that's over on the right or down below. You can grab that code. If you like that, click the like button. Also, before you go, once you go to this site, you'll see a little form. If you fill that out, type your email address in here and click the download now button. That's gonna send you an email with all the source code. So just check your email in order to get started. All right, so this has got a lot of design resources from Sketch to PNGs to Xcode projects. is gonna be very useful. Lastly, click the subscribe button, which is over my head. If you want to get updates when I have new videos, I'm gonna be posting regular content on a weekly basis. And then last but not least, just like this video if you found any of the topics that I talked about helpful. I'm gonna be showing you the next step in the next video. So let's go do that.